The realities of life are that people everywhere, every day, are tested. And if you're the type of young person that wants to get busy and have all kinds of marvelous sex and passionate lovemaking, that's fine. But there's a financial responsibility to that moment. There's typically some sort of a date that puts you forward and an opportunity to kind of sit down and have conversations with the item of your attraction and openly it gives you a chance to show your prowess and how you handle yourself and how you work the intellectual conversation, how you hit the emotional buttons and how you kind of piss around in the flirtations of the passions of life. Unfortunately, after the sexual aspect of the date, you are then fully liable and fully responsible for your lethal injection into that life. Now what I mean by that is maybe it went well, maybe it didn't. Maybe it was a comedy of errors, and maybe it was just a got to keep tried and true until we get this to do right. But what I'm really talking about is what happens if you are too fucking lazy to recognize where America is in the sexuality of the world. What I mean is we live in a time of COVID. We live in a time of epidemic. We live in a time of flu. We live in a time of AIDS. We live in a time of gonorrhea. We live in a time of all kinds of marvelous sexually transmitted diseases and other types of just common flus. And you are a fool if you didn't protect yourself in sex. Because there's that aftermath of sex, especially if it's heterosexual sex, but it can also be within other types of sex, and we won't go into that because I'm not an expert in those things, and I wouldn't pledge for us to be an expert in the regular sex, but that's not the point of my show. The comedy of errors of sex is if you chose to have sex unprotected, and neither side chose to protect themselves, and both sides have a responsibility to do so, then you might have produced for yourself, voila, your own baby daddy hood. Way to go. You lazy ass bastard. You see, what you decided in that moment of time was to allow your body do the thinking instead of your brain. And a man's brain will do that. He sees a pretty girl, he's like, wow, want to do that, want to be there, want to have that. But the problem is there's an after effect. And the after effect, if this hits the right time period in her life, then you created a new child. And that child has financial capabilities, meaning it's fucking expensive to have a baby. It's hard work to have a child physically and emotionally, psychologically, spiritually. And my guess is because you were too fucking lazy to put a condom on that you're too fucking lazy to read a book that's been out there for 60, 70, 80 plus years of how to raise a child, how to do it correctly, how to be the right kind of daddy, how to be the right kind of mommy, how to be the right kind of parent of a child that will be coming out of that relationship no matter what happens between that one night stand or that passionate bar thing interlude or that actual long-term dating that you didn't exactly plan for before you got married or if you got married that came too soon and openly you don't pay, take the time to read how to parent so you don't think about the ages and stages of what kind of food is appropriate to a baby at different ages and stages of life. Now your family and friends will probably shove those kind of books on you if they're any kind of human being at all. But your laziness and your fatigue with dealing with that child and handling the child and handling the pregnancy and everything like that might make you not be willing to read. Or your need to keep playing around as if you're a player and don't have any responsibilities for the shit you did. Now, am I being sarcastic? Sure. Am I being honest? Absolutely. fucking lutely Because this is America, and we are not the dumb fuck backward assholes of the country fried little third word countries. We know how to raise children. But if you choose not to, that's on your life in front of your whole fucking community that you look like a bozo as a parent. 